I tested her. I asked her, do you want me to stop halfway? Or do you want me to come up and walk you to your room? Those are the only two choices. Me, you slept on me, you slept on me. You Welcome back to another video. Today we got a mukbang and a story time. I didn't finish the food from my last video. So I got fries and a shake left. Shamrock shake. We got those fries. So, you know, I was thinking might as well, if I got it, knock out two videos. Today's video is about the time I stole someone's girl. This was back in college when I was really in my uh, boy stage of my life. So I didn't really care about relationships and like who's hurt or like whose feelings are hurt or anything like that. I'm different now though, you know, I changed. For the better. Cap. <laughs> there was this girl, and she was like super small, super cute, and she lived in the freshman dorms when I was a freshman. I lived in the honors dorms, so I didn't really see her as much. But I seen her when she went to the dining hall. I asked my friends that are, that are in her building about her. I was like, "What's up with her?" Blah, 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 And they were telling me she was a boyfriend. And she's always on the phone with him. So I was like, oh. They was like, yeah, so she's taking You can't talk to her. You got to, you got to, you got to find someone else, player. I was like, who said that? They was like, what do you mean? I was like, just because she has a boyfriend doesn't mean that she's faithful to her boyfriend. You know? She was like, you can make her, she, they were like, you can make her cheat on her boyfriend. I was like, I'm not. I'm not gonna make her do anything. I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot my shot and see what happens. I didn't do it that year, but I made a commitment that I was gonna get this girl's number somehow. So I put it in the universe, and I was hoping that the good Lord will, you know, do me a solid and put her one of my put her one in my one of my classes my sophomore year or the next semester of my freshman year but he did not do that so I had to take matters in my own hands so one day I saw her sitting by herself and I had a group with me so I was like so I was first one to sit down so I sat at the table right behind her right and then they were like you ain't slick, man. I, 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 I see what you're trying to do. I was like, man, I, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm chilling. He said she had a boyfriend. I dropped. And my mom, like, man, I'm going to get her number. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get her number. You know, it might be just a study or, or something or help me help me out with something. Her phone number needs to be in my phone. Somehow, some way. It needs to get done. I don't know how. I don't know when. But it needs to happen. That was, that was my mindset. You know how guys are, you know. They was like, hey, you're not even going to talk to her. I dare you. I dare you to talk to her. And I was like, man, chill, man. Chill, chill. Because I, I wasn't I wasn't trying. I wasn't feeling it that day. I wasn't feeling like the man that day. But he called me a bitch. I was like, oh. Ain't no bitch. So. Now I got to do it. So I got up. Walked over, walked over to her, you know, well, walked around the table, and was like, excuse me, you mind if I sit with you? She was like, um, sure, I don't mind. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I seen you eating alone, I just thought you could use a, you know, a little eating buddy, you know what I'm saying? I can use eating with it myself. That's why I come over here to see if it's mutual. You know? She was like, oh, okay. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the phone right now, though. But yeah. I was like, okay. Who are we talking to? She was like, my boyfriend. I was like, oh. Tell her, say what's up. I heard her boyfriend was like, 
Who's that? He was like, she was like, I don't know his, I don't know his name yet. He, he was like, ask him. So she didn't, she didn't ask me. I just, I just told her boyfriend. I was like, I go by JJ. What's your name? He told me his name was like, I don't know his name. I forgot, I forgot his name. But then I asked her her, her name. She told me her name. Alright. So then I was like, you know, I was like, I, I don't know what you're doing this week. But it really mean a lot to me if we could hang out or just do something this week. She was like, um, what do you want to do? I was like, um, I don't even know yet. I just know that, you know, after I get finished my classes and um, homework and stuff, I get pretty bored. So, you know, I feel like if we can be eating buddies, then we might as well, you know, be friends, you know? Hang out, hang out once in a while, get to know each other, build a friendship, right? And I'm paraphrasing, cause I, don't, I don't know what exactly the exact words I said. I know I said something like this, right? So, basically she said yes. Skip a few days, uh, she's on campus, and I, I see her in a student center. I said, what's up? And then she lived in like the, it's called the courtyards. So she had to walk from the student center all the way down the street. It's like it's like two miles. She had she had to walk two miles to get to the, back to her room. I was like, so I was like, how you doing, girl? She was like, good. Hey, JJ. And I was like, so are you? What are you doing here? I thought you lived in the um, courtyard. Didn't you miss the bus? She was like, yeah, I missed the bus. But I felt like if I'm already here, might as well get some food, you know. I was like, yeah, make, make sense, make sense. You need me to walk you back? She said, um, I actually would appreciate that a lot. Because I'm kind of scared, to be honest. I was like, anytime, anytime. In my mind, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, boy. Ding, 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 it's my chance. This is my chance. So, lucky me, she was having trouble with her boyfriend. Right? She, he said something, and they were, well, he, he did something, so they're taking a break right now. So, I felt like it was like, you know, it was the Lord throwing me a oop. And it was, it was up to me to catch it. So she, she was telling me this about like the little break on the walk to back to, back to our room. And I was like, yeah, you know, he, he shouldn't be treating me like that. That's that's really messed up. You know, I, would, I wouldn't treat my girlfriend like that. That's But that's just me, you know what I'm saying. I'm a different breed nowadays. She was like, <laughs> different breed how? Well, you know what I'm saying? I just treat people with respect, you know, respect, loyalty, honor, all that. This is, you know, how I am, you know. It's like, yeah, I see, I see you're pretty nice. It's, I, I like how you walk me back to my house and you, you barely even know me like that. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I remember we're, we're eating buddies. I'm kind of mad that you didn't tell me you were on campus so we could eat together again. We could, cause it, it, she got she got Chick Fil A, so I was like I was kind of pissed that, you know, I wanted Chick Fil A too, <laughs> but I was like yeah, kind of mad you you hit me up. You you, you told me we get Chick Fil A, we would got Chick Fil A together. You didn't tell me. She was like yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was just I was I was so irritated about the bus. I was like okay, it makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Long story short. I was I was wrapping her up and she was she was feeling me. So what I did was I tested her. I asked her, "Do you want me to stop halfway, or do you want me to come up and walk you to your room?" Those were the only two choices that I gave. Her. So I don't know if that's kind of like messed up or anything. But that's what I did. So she said, "Well, I guess walk me to my door then." I was like, "All right, I can do that." So we're walking to her door, 
I asked her, you have anything to drink? I'm kind of parched. You know, I'm kind of parched. This, this walk made me kind of thirsty. So she's like, yeah, you can, you can come in and get some water. I'm like, thank you. Appreciate it. Got my water. I asked her if she's good. We started talking for a bit. She says something about her, like her hands or something. Something about her hands. So I asked her if she can give me a massage. So she started massaging my back, right? Which is, which is kind of backwards. So usually the guy will be massaging the girl's back. But I was like, man, the touch barrier is already broken. So we good. We got this. I'm talking, turning to massage. I turned around and I looked at her and I was like, you got some cute lips. And I leaned towards her and I was like, can I taste them? Oh! And she was, she started laughing. She was like, it's gonna taste like lips. I was like, I wanna see for myself. And then she hesitated. She was like, um, why you wanna taste it? I'm like, you know, you look like it tastes like strawberries. <laughs> She's all laughing again, giggling. You know how like they do in movies where like guy puts like their hand under the girl's chin like that to bring bring them closer? I did that. I asked her, can I kiss you? She was like, yes. So I kissed her. And then kissing led to more things and ended up smashing. <laughs> ended up smashing that night, you know. And then a couple of days later, I found out that she's getting back with her with her ex. So, which was fine, you know. I didn't really see a future with this woman because of like certain certain small things that I peeped so I wasn't really looking for a future with her because of certain things but that's what happened so te technically I just steal her I just happened to be the right guy at the right opportunity and ma made my presence I made my introduction early enough that she's comfortable with me to actually let me in, in her space, basically. Soon I'll be interviewing OnlyFans models, so look forward to seeing that. They will be sitting right here. And then, if you wanna see those, subscribe. Kinda of reminds me of the story time I did with um, my first college crush. The one right here. Go ahead, go ahead and check that out. In the meantime, stay blessed, stay loyal, stay right. We out. What do you want from the boy? Trying to get to my bank just like I'm Lloyd, yeah. Cause she only got time, only got time for stacks. Yeah, she only got time for stacks.